You can't reset that. Oh. Yeah. Okay, is this one? Okay. Yeah, and there would be like a continuous timer. Like okay. the thing, the box, there's like a display on it and keeps on going down. Thank you. And give the beep like one. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, next up is David, and he'll be talking about Sampa. Oh. Hello, I'm Marc Chantreux, and David, David is here. Um, we are working uh, at Renater, which is a French uh, national uh, research and, and education network. Uh, I also saw Guy, um, Guillaume Rouge, which is uh, one of the contributors of Sampa, and also working at Renater. Um, uh, I will talk about the future of Sampa, and you can be a part of it. Uh, Sampa is a 20 years old mailing list manager, uh, open source uh, since the very beginning, uh, and uh, it was, okay, um, sorry, there is, okay, <laughs> I don't know it's what, uh, why it swapped my slides, so, okay, but uh, yeah, uh, Renata is hiring, so if you are a French public servant, don't hesitate to take a look at our website, and maybe we can, you can join the team. Uh, as I said, Sampa is a 20-year-old uh, manager, uh, written in Perl by and for the research community and education community. So it fits the needs of very large organizations. Um, but uh, we are also uh, serving a lot of other systems, like, for example, service, talks, uh, service hosting, hosting. The FFDN is uh, a network of uh, alternative ISP in France, and uh, some, of, uh, some of them are using SAMPA. For, for, and Framalist is an instance of SAMPA uh, from Framasoft. We want to de-Googleize Internet. We want to. Uh, Universities are also using SAMPA, for example, Paris, Oslo, Strasbourg, Bordeaux, I don't know, yeah, too much. We have also telephony operators, we have a lot of them, uh, of, uh, of users. Uh, don't swap my slides, okay. Uh, uh, okay, survey, uh, to, to have a look on, on it, we, we take a survey on, uh, on uh, 2015 and the results are available on simpa.org uh, and we learn a lot about it. Uh, we learned that we have a huge, a huge base, a user base. Uh, I don't want to, to give all the, the numbers because uh, it's too long and uh, I, don't, uh, I have problems with a huge number in English. So, uh, so what you have to, to remember is every Two seconds. Somewhere in the world, Sam, uh, Sampa is uh, is processing an, out, uh, an incoming message. And why is it? Why is this? Uh, first, because we have a good uh, standard uh, email standard support, DKIM, uh, Mark, SMIME, and so on. Yeah, I don't want to to give you key complete list. We have customization. We can we can template a lot of things to create stuff, to render stuff. We have scenarios to, uh, to define workflows. For example, when you, when you send a mail for a mailing list, you can define without uh, coding everything, uh, nothing. Uh, you can define uh, how uh, Sampa will handle the, the, the email. We have automation. For example, you can define a list family, so you manage one family of lists instead of uh, managing one uh, list by one by one. Uh, we have mass operations on list subscribers, we have shared documents, we have set operations on list subscriptions. So, for example, we can include a list, exclude a list, and uh, this kind of stuff uh, are uh, the base of SIMPA. And SIMPA is a part of your syst uh, information system. You can, uh, you can provide uh, uh, information or uh, consume information from SQL, LDAP, uh, HTTP, flat file, and so on. Um, but the most, the, 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 the most, uh, the key feature for me, the, the features that make me love the projects are the users. The users uh, came with me, uh, to me and said, I, I, I was an administrator, but actually 
uh, the first time I, I administrated SAMPA, it was a punishment for me because uh, they told me it's a mailing list manager. And the user said, okay, but I use SAMPA for this kind of stuff. And it's awesome. So uh, the power of SAMPA for me is the, is the ability to give a non-technical person, uh, people, uh, a lot of power via, via a system of delegation and permissions and now they can use uh, a, new, a UI to set, up, uh, to set up a lot of things. So freedom. And no, yeah, I said uh, Renater. Renater is, no, uh, is, uh, is maintaining Sampa. Uh, for Renater, Sampa is a mission, but also it's now a pride. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge because uh, obviously the community is small. We are two developers at Renater. We have two regular contributors and a lot of people with, uh, with uh, uh, some patches in Sampa, not much, not much uh, patches in documentation, uh, help on mailing list, and yeah. Renater is involving uh, the community into the development process. So if you join us, uh, you can uh, have some words about the future of Sampa. So we, you, uh, last year, we used, uh, uh, we organized uh, uh, 20 years uh, birthday hackathon. And it was uh, the chance for us to, to rethink the future of Simpa. And we opened, uh, we start to uh, open uh, the Simpa code and uh, uh, open, I said, use uh, open source platforms to, 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 to make the community, to make the community uh, available. So you can use uh, our GitHub now. We, have, uh, we are also on Freenode. Uh, and you can uh, join our mailing list uh, developers. You can subscribe directly and uh, start uh, chatting with us. We have commercial support. We have, jo uh, we have joined uh, the Open World Consortium, so we expect more partners and contributors. As I said, we have a small, con uh, uh, small uh, developer community, but we expect much uh, um, we expect big evolutions in Sampa uh, uh, starting uh, in the, um, because in the hackathon we discuss about uh, a complete distribution, uh, uh, federation of lists and so on and we have some very good ideas of uh, why a whole Sampa can evolve. People tell us uh, that uh, mailing lists uh, are uh, getting old but obviously we don't, we don't buy this because, yes, uh, mailing lists are not so sh this shi uh, shiny. For example, uh, slacks and so on. Uh, this is basically not the same usage. Um, for example, uh, I don't see something that is massively adopted, decentralized, fault tolerant, uh, and support alternative content, uh, support crypt cryptography, and so on. So. I understand that, uh, that web interfaces are uh, about uh, extreme intuitiveness, but emails, uh, where, uh, email is about freedom. Uh, I can think the way I want, I can filter and render the way I want, I can use a large and extensible tool chain for it, and uh, both of these approaches as are valid, and I don't want to troll with anyone, just Please choose the way you want to communicate with me, but don't, want, uh, don't expect from me to use a web interface. It will never happen. Uh, so the idea is make the web for our user, and uh, I, I'm not the only one because uh, if you, for example, uh, so for example, on the Linux uh, kernel uh, list, someone asked uh, why uh, still using uh, email mailing list. Uh, when, uh, when we have uh, no, uh, uh, a complete web stack and <sighs> another troll. Uh, uh, so yes, what we want is to make uh, Webfora happy. And we, I can discuss about it. Uh, it's not, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm used to, to that troll. So if you want to troll, just pay me, pay me a beer and 
it's okay. Make uh, make for uh, web for our users happy. So Sampa is basically uh, has everything to 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 uh, to provide uh, the basics of uh, a social network. We just need a good uh, uh, web interface. So we will push a web interface on top of Sampa. Uh, also, we think that Sympa could be a good migration path to successors to come. We are still waiting for the successor. We are, uh, we are tuned to every successor, but SMTP for the moment just does the job. Uh, we don't swap, yeah. Uh, we want to make main, uh, uh, administrators happy. So. We want to improve documentation. We want to improve uh, customization. We want to split SimPy to smaller modules uh, and reusable components so you can install a part of SimPy and not the whole stuff. Uh, you want, we, want make, uh, we want to make developers happy, even the Perl newbies, even the Perl haters. So when you, when you see, when you see Perl code, when you, when you uh, close your eyes and want to imagine Perl code, you see, you see uh, lots of things. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, for example, uh, a counter example, you have a, a new object, uh, which is a start with a value two. Uh, we uh, show the value, so it's two. You, we use the method next, which is next. And we choose uh, the next uh, the, the the method uh, add two uh, to step with uh, two five, and uh, the 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 pearl you know is probably this kind of stuff you don't want to write. I completely understand that, uh, but our uh, our code base is more is much about uh, is this kind of stuff. So we define a counter which has has, which is decla really declarative syntax, which has a value which is writable and, readable, uh, and readable, so you have accessors, and which is L values, and you can use it uh, the way you use the properties in Ruby, for example, or any kind of variable. So you can use plus plus self value, and this is, uh, this is completely uh, working. Uh, we also want to bet on uh, all the awesome tooling and modules of the per uh, community for so we pick a lot of CPAN and we provide uh, and CPAN provide a lot of tools but uh, uh, basically if you're used to Python or something like that you will uh, convert this uh, kind of stuff uh, uh, for example Blackup is like Chaussette, uh, CPANM is like uh, is like uh, PIP, uh, Desil, no there is no Desil uh, in Python but uh, it's Dizil is for to scaffold uh, new new modules. So yes, don't hesitate to ask a question about uh, the future of Simpa. Don't hesitate to ask why, because uh, I know I know some some of you can can uh, really think that we don't need a mailing list anymore. And I swear I think there is still uh, a usage for that. So if you want to question that, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, don't hesitate to any question for any of feedback from any form. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, David. We have some time, time for questions. Right. I'm a pair lover. I would love to uh, switch my main main mailing lists uh, uh, to Simpa. Would you consider implementing a way to import uh, the existing main main archives without breaking the links? Yes. Uh, actually. Okay. Uh, I was, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, you, we, we have, we have uh, some experience of it, not my, me personally, but we have some experience of it in the community. So, ju so just, uh, maybe you can, you can ask David directly because he's the one to help for, uh, for this kind of stuff. So yeah. yes, you can. You it's a piece of cake. Uh, <laughs> so, so yes, we can do it. Anybody else? Yes. Um, do you oh. have some news on the 
encryption mailing list, encrypted mailing list. 